There are two approaches used to describe how beautiful a diamond will be. Proportions assessment takes the outer measurements of a diamond and applies known science to predict its appearance. Performance assessment takes the actual diamond, measures light output, and compares it to established standards. Since proportions assessment looks at the container and performance assessment looks at the contents, we encourage both approaches for every diamond. Diamond's facets act as tiny mirrors that capture light, bounce it around internally, and release it back to the eye in flashes of white and colored light, also known as brilliance and fire. Certain angles and proportions are proven to maximize these effects. In 1919, a mathematician named Marcel Tolkowski was the first to calculate a set of proportions for the round ideal diamond. A diamond cut within these proportions will be more dynamic and more beautiful than one that is not. Those measurements continue to form the standard by which the world's finest diamonds are judged today, and they form the basis for the first laboratory cut grading system launched in 1996. As laboratories develop new systems, we know that other beautiful configurations are possible, but Mr. Tolkowski's research is still very relevant today. Some details are listed for all diamonds, but to evaluate cut, you will need these as well. Basic proportions assessment is done by comparing these parameters to known performance charts. Here are the American Gem Society's traditional ideal proportions. For 10 years, diamonds in this range were automatically graded ideal by the AGS. In 2005, the AGS changed to performance assessment, and diamonds at the outer limits of this traditional range may no longer receive their top grade. But those near the middle will always be considered top performers. For example, here are the parameters we prefer for our white flash, a cut above hearts and arrows diamonds. This tight range of measurements never fails to produce diamonds that receive the highest ratings in proportions and performance grading systems. Proportions assessment can also be done with a computerized estimator. In 2001, Australian geologist Gary Holloway introduced a popular online cut advisor. As of 2006, the GIA is grading cut with a similar online estimator called FacetWare. Their top grade of excellent allows numbers farther away from Tolkowski, but is still a good assurance of quality. Whether you target the most elite proportions or not, it's reasonable to insist on knowing all measurements of any diamond you consider from any seller. In the 1970s, a Japanese scientist named Okuda developed ways to study light performance using colored reflectors in magnified scopes. This method of assessment became popular on the Internet with Gary Holloway's Ideal Scope, a simple magnifying tube containing a red reflector. An Ideal Scope photograph shows what areas of a diamond return light to the viewer's eye and what areas do not. In 2005, the AGS introduced a similar scope, the Angular Spectrum Evaluation Tool. Based on the same principle, the asset shows light return using multiple colors and is used in the AGS cut grading system for round and fancy cuts. The ideal scope can be used with a light tray or natural backlight. Light entering the diamond from above is red. Light from beneath is white. This structured light environment reveals how much light from above is properly returned to the viewer's eye. Interpretation is simple. Here are sample photos of well-cut, average, and poorly cut diamonds. Black areas indicate light returned at very high angles. These areas are dark in the ideal scope because light from directly above is blocked by the camera. Red areas indicate light returning to the eye at optimum angles. Pink indicates less optimum light return. White indicates non-reflecting facets where light is escaping or leaking out of the diamond's pavilion. The finest cut diamonds have an abundance of red and a pattern of symmetrical black arrows radiating from the center. Average cut diamonds have areas of pink, gray, and white leakage. Poorly cut diamonds have large areas of leakage and chaotic optical symmetry. Finely cut diamonds may have small triangular patterns of white along the edges and outside the center of the diamond. These small areas of contrast leakage are perfectly acceptable. Here again is how an average diamond appears compared to a finely cut diamond. Buyers should know that bright jewelry store lighting can be used to make diamonds look good. But diamonds are not always viewed in such lighting. An ideal scope image reveals the true nature of a diamond's overall light return and is a must for discriminating shoppers.
Machines have been developed to assess diamond performance. ImageM and Brilliance Scope are among the most well-known. These devices provide interesting information but have met resistance from major laboratories and the science community. They give differing results, depending on the company that designed them. For this reason, they take a backseat to reflector assessment, such as Ideal Scope. An advanced form of proportions assessment takes a 3D scan of a diamond and generates a virtual model. Cutters and analysts use such software to arrive at broad conclusions. When evaluating a specific diamond, such computer simulation is useful but takes a back seat to live assessment of the actual diamond. The final details of a diamond's cut are graded separately from performance and proportions. The polish grade reflects the smoothness and mirror-like finish of the facets. The symmetry grade judges how well facet junctions meet and evaluates uniformity of the diamond's shape. As with cut, ideal or excellent grades indicate top craftsmanship. Note that lab-graded symmetry is not the same as optical symmetry, which is discussed in our A Cut Above tutorial. At White Flash, we give proportions, online grading reports, images magnified at 40 power, and ideal scope photographs showing light output. In this way, every diamond we sell is supported with cut grading, proportions, and performance assessment. We also have experts available to give advice and answer questions. The growing popularity of online diamond sales is a great testament to this system. It works. Remember, if you are also shopping in retail stores, you should seek the same grading documents and proof of performance that you would expect on the Internet.